I feel or downhill too fast or too slow Which way is the fastest way to go? The winner takes it all, yes, but why does he win? Well, there's an explanation to nearly everything And you're about to enter the Swedish Winter Sports Research Center According to cross-country ski equipment, I guess you can say there's been a slightly development. And thank God for that. But do you think that this is just a process when you can lean back and watch things happen? You are so on your bikes. Because you know what? At the Swedish Winter Sport Research Center, there's an active process going on between the scientists, the engineers and the athletes, trying to make the equipment for the future. And this is an interesting question. And as I always say, the answer is just a question away. Take a look at this. If you take the perspective on different uh, Olympic sports, um, there are differences uh, which factors that are important for performance. Uh, in cross country skiing and biathlon, for example, uh, the development or the use of equipment that can include poles, uh, skis, uh, ski boots and bindings, of course, different waxes and uh, the structure that you can um, also create under the skis. And uh, all these factors are of importance for performance. Some factors perhaps is more important in, in some conditions, whereas other factors are more important in other. And um, uh, in our center, we have a special uh, section or a special uh, rooms or labs uh, focusing uh, on what we call performance technology. My name is uh, Michael Swarm and work here with uh, biomechanical analysis and product development. And uh, normally we work with product development down here in the Peak Innovation Lab, just located underneath the big, the big treadmills upstairs and uh, where the physiologists are, are doing all their analysis. So my, my job is to uh, analyze biomechanical sort of data from either treadmills or World Cup races or training sessions and try to optimize both the movements but also the equipment they use in order to get better movements and, and to get better sort of propulsive forces, better optimize the performances basically. Um, so with the data and with the new ideas that we, we get from the um, coaches, from the athletes, from from most of the uh, the waxing guys, uh, we can take them down here into this. It's a bit of a small workshop for for prototyping and doing different things that sort of quick fix. But a few examples right now. We are we are scanning um, different ski baskets. Uh, we basically we have all the ski baskets that are uh, most frequently used on the World Cup. Um, seen and we just we want to see what's the difference between the most common one and, and the not so common ones and, and why is it that some people prefer the older ski baskets is it because they have a bigger surface area is it because of the weight is it because of how they um, generate less um, wind drag or air resistance uh, what is it what, why, why is it that someone wants to have a, an old Swix compared to the newer ones or, or vice versa. So that, that's one of the projects going on now. We've scanned a few and this also allows the skiers to sit down with us in a 3D environment saying that I really like this ski, uh, ski basket but I want it to look like this so maybe it doesn't need to be this big where it sort of attached to the pole or whatever so maybe you can cut some weight there and then we can have a discussion and, and um, dialogue with the uh, with the manufacturers, saying that this is what the skiers want. Maybe you should should think about it. One thing that's likely to be changed, or we're trying to change it, it's up to the, the big manufacturers. But if you look at um, a, a, a skiing pole, um, 
they're all made out of the same shaft basically. Uh, either they um, normally they spun made out of uh, composite materials, and they all come in in raw lengths. And depending how tall you are, you um, you basically just cut it. If you want to have it 1.55 meters, or if you want to have it 1.80 meters, uh, in the in the beginning it's all the same shaft with the same geometry, meaning that the um, the thickness, also the way it go, it gets narrower and narrower down in the in the into the bottom, it's all the same, but that should be different if you, for example, close to two meters and using a, a pole that's 1.8 meters or if you're using a pole that is less than one and a half meters. So it's likely to be able, that we might find um, better geometry in order to optimize the, uh, the poles uh, for each skiers according to both techniques but also uh, anthropometry, um, body length and so on. So that's something we're working on trying to, to see what we can do and how fast the development can go. Also in the future that it's very likely that um, the skis become lighter. Right now they are not heavy, but they are big areas where you can make a ski, a cross country ski lighter. And also during the last years they put more and more carbon fibers into them, making them, them stiffer, especially in the, in the torsion area. Uh, and that's for the skating technique. It is likely that they might be able to reinforce the skis um, so they become lighter, uh, more torsion stiff and they also have the same span and they can reproduce the same type of ski over and over again. Right now it's, it's very hard to find two skis that are exactly the same or one pair that is exactly the same as another pair and they're all using live materials like wood or, or even sort of like some type of paper in them. Uh, it's, it's sort of rolling towards being able to reproduce skis, make them as as good as one ski wants and then make 50 pairs of those. And then if if the ski num number two wants a different type of, of ski, uh, they can make that type of ski for him or, or her. Uh, so it's, it's a development that's going on, it's an ongoing progress, but as long as uh, we're using sort of living materials inside of skis, it's hard to control exactly what the ski uh, will work uh, when you use it. One part that I think is um, an area that will grow and has the potential to improve performance even more uh, the next decade is uh, technique development and equipment development. So that's its uh, area that we um, we call in our field we call it integrative physiology and biomechanics. So we try to combine the understanding of physiology and biomechanics. And together with um, what we call performance technology. And performance technology is development of equipment. And I think this holistic uh, understanding or holistic view perspective is important and it has a great potential to improve performance for athletes the coming decades. So I guess it's out with the old heavy materials and in with the lighter, more personalized equipment. And for the skis, it's probably the same thing. More carbon, less weight and less living material. Okay, that's a thought. If the future bring it, we don't know. But you know where you heard it first. Okay, that's all for today, folks. And keep in mind, the answer is just a question away. See ya. I feel or downhill too fast or too slow. Which way is the fastest way to go? The winner takes it all, yes, but why does he win? Well, there's an explanation to nearly everything. And you're about to enter the Swedish Winter Sports Research Center.